Beautiful, how you doing? Welcome back or welcome. If this is your first time, hi, I'm Lucky. Check out the links in the description if you want to grow your own YouTube channel. I included some tools in the description as well as if you want to support me or the LGBT community, I included some stuff in there that um, would be helpful. Uh, what the hell is this? cleaning it off but it's just not working so we're just gonna tuck it back here anyway a typical day in prison for queens it revolves around the men as sucky as that is it revolves around the men it just does like okay so you wake up and the first thing that you typically do when you wake up is you get dressed and then you go to chow for breakfast then you come back well, hopefully you brush your teeth i would say probably like 20% of the population, queens, everybody, brush their teeth. Queens usually brush their teeth because they they have commissary, <laughs> for starters, because of the guys that they're dealing with, and they are in interaction with a lot of people, so they typically brush their teeth. A lot of guys in prison, like, y'all, I've seen some comments where people are like, oh, I would be just all over them guys it's like honey it does not look like how it looks on tv i'm just trying to tell you just for starters like 80 percent of the people in there don't even brush their teeth you're talking to them and whew, it's literally like you've been punched in the face literally like you've been punched in the face but anyway hopefully you brush your teeth and you go to chow to eat breakfast you come back and that's actually really when you start your day some people will go back to sleep and wake up like later other people will just start going out and about you might go to the morning wreck you, you know you might not but a queen usually the first thing that they do which a lot of guys do this is there's like bathroom breaks people they try to train their bodies to be on the same sort of cycle have like a routine a consistent schedule that they follow day day by day queens are no different they might take like rotations or just one if they're sharing a cell because i had shared a cell with a queen but usually a queen is in the cell with a guy not necessarily always her husband but a guy that doesn't mind her being in the cell a guy that she's more than likely messing around with out of all my cell partners i would say for me it's like half and half like half of the people that i was in the cell with i wasn't doing anything and then like half of the people that i was in the cell with there was something that had happened but that's me doing my best to really not be that way because i didn't see any reason why it had to be that if i'm sharing a cell with somebody there has to be something going on between us like i'm not interested in every single guy that i'm sharing a cell with you know but it's the the culture of prison so me that's how i typically was but i would think majority of queens usually it's probably a higher number it might be like almost all the guys that they're in the cell with usually there's something going on it's very rare that it's not like that it is kind of rare but that's just how it is anyway so they'll take a rotation and use the restroom by using the restroom, what I mean is that they will prep themselves for the day. That usually entails a bottle. I made a video about this. I'll include a card up here that is prepping for getting busy. So there's <laughs> warm water that's involved. And on the lazy side, I would say a queen might take like... 10 minutes to do this 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 going to the bathroom process on the loose side like a queen is busy she might take like two hours that's the longest that i've heard somebody actually explained to me their process of how they do you know the whole nine i mentioned it in that video you know perhaps you saw it maybe not but yeah it's a it's quite a little process after that is done, usually it's about lockdown time in the morning. You know, maybe there's enough time to go out. They might mingle with kind of like the other girls or they'll go out to rec and try to talk to the guys. That's that's where the day just, it centers around the guys. And then 
you lock down in the morning, after you get out in the morning, that's pretty much where your day starts. You are just making contacts. For me, what it usually entailed was a lot of conversation, a lot of, or towards the end, I got in a relationship and I was just, I was in a program too. So I was really busy with the program and then I was all about my man that I was with. But prior to that, when I was just a regular queen in population or other queens that most queens they're in population, the afternoon, that's when you are catching up with the girls to, to get the tea about what's going on because there's always something going on in prison, meaning like somebody's been stabbed, somebody is dealing with an officer, there's something that has happened with an officer, maybe they got walked off or whoever is on shift, you have good shifts and you have bad shifts, you have just different things, like people they're, they're chasing, they're trying to find, you know, their next, like, uh, good time in terms of whatever it is that provides them a good time, so first you're talking with the queens and then you start talking with the guys you have guys that are passing you kites you have the guys that you're dealing with they go to the gym and hook up with these guys they meet these guys when they go to class and hook up with these guys i've heard uh i haven't actually seen this but i've heard of queens in the chow hall they hook up with the guys even me when i was talking to different people like before i had met my like prison husband who was cam um i did used to like go establish i guess like a routine where certain people certain times of the day was kind of dedicated to certain people like when i went to class i knew that i was going to be talking to this guy and then when i went to chow i had a prison sugar daddy boss who was giving me trays and a lot of times he would pop out because he was a kitchen chef so he would come out and he would talk to me a little bit you know before i ate my food or before i left sometimes he would sit at the table and talk with me but there were other times that um because it's not every chow actually it was like the morning and the evening chow but that afternoon chow since i had class I had to go on the other side of the compound in that chow hall to eat and there was a guy that was trying to talk to me there so you know usually I sat with him and for me the the benefit of doing that was because I was always nervous that people have designated tables cuz gang members always sit at this area or Muslims always are on this side of the chow hall or just different things like that and then you know there's uh, competition between the key, the queens. So I would be really like filled with anxiety <laughs> when I would go to chow. But if there was somebody that I knew that liked me, I would go sit with him. I would usually try to find like an empty table, but if I couldn't find an empty table, then like I would look for somebody that I knew that kind of liked me or somebody that I was relatively friends with. Usually I was looking for like another queen, like a cool queen, somebody who's, cause you have queens that are queens. Like they got a husband and they're a queen and they're not really trying to be involved in the drama. And so me personally, sorry, I ne live near a train and this thing, like this train is trying to make its presence known tonight. It's like, I'm coming through, interrupting your video damn go 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 and i told myself i wasn't going to cuss anymore in these videos anyway but so you had some queens where it's like they don't want any drama and really they try to actually stay away from queens other queens but because i always was non-threatening it was very clear to a lot of other queens it's like oh she ain't trying to be stabbing nobody behind her, their backs like clearly she's trying to be friendly with me you know like that's not common with queens in prison so they they would be a little bit warmer to me i always was sort of known as like the green one the naive one the innocent one you know but and in the beginning it was definitely very real but towards the end of my time i really kind of just like played it up because it's like it worked to my advantage you know people found me harmless so i, I could avoid trouble sometimes sometimes but anyway for other queens that's just how your day goes 
Then the nighttime comes, and that's where all the busyness comes. Usually, the average queen is already busy throughout the day. Like I say, me, I would be having conversation throughout the day, talking to these different types of guys in order to be able to sit down at a table in class, in order to be able to sit down at a table in chow. <laughs> you know, it's like, I. that's why I you know but other queens they there's some sort of there's some sort of benefit in some way like they're they're trying to get commissary they're trying to get some sort of fix they're trying to you know or they just like the guy and they've been dealing with this guy for the past year or something like that and like they this is this is their time to like get get it on with this person so they might already have gotten busy during class i've heard some queens in the chow hall that have gotten you know, busy in the stairwell on the rec yard doing like little things. I don't mean like full on, you know, the whole shebang. I'm talking about like little things, you know, little things, the touchy feely stuff. So the nighttime comes around and now there's usually probably like a second prep for most queens. I would think that they're, they're prepping themselves again, meaning like the bathroom visit because they're about to hang out in the cell with somebody. They are going in the cell and chilling. Like, or somebody's coming into their cell. A lot of queens like it when they have a cell that somebody comes in. And usually, there are two types of queens that I've seen in prison. They will get a cell partner that is their husband. And they have a home in that cell with this guy. And that's what I did. And I loved it. Other queens, busier queens, they get a cell partner that doesn't mind the lifestyle that they have, and they probably are topping this guy off, and the guy will vacate the cell at certain times. Like, for example, at nighttime, the guy will go out and play poker with his buddies or something like that, maybe go out to rec, go to the gym, whatever, just chill out in the pod playing cards, whatever, maybe working out or something, but they will leave the cell and the queen has the, the cell during that time. And the queen will host, host, <laughs> will host, okay? One-on-one, -on -one, two sums, three sums, group sessions, for real. This is for real. <laughs> <laughs> like that is really what goes down and there were people that used to think that I was on that type of time because of different people that I knew that they had friends and they would you know invite me into the cell to kick it or hang out or something like that and other people would be trying to come into the cell and I wasn't on that type of time I just wasn't but that is a typical day and then they go to sleep they do it again that is a typical day for a gay guy in prison <laughs> don't forget to subscribe check out patreon if you want to see more of me and the memberships love you